Hi, it's Artie Vicky here, and if you've watched my previous videos, you will have seen a video on how to make brooches out of glasses lenses, and then another video on how to do Zentangle drawings. Today I would like to bring those two activities together and show you how to make a brooch using Zentangling and old spectacle lenses. These are just so beautiful. They're my favourite brooches. So I hope you enjoy making them. Let's do it! For my sample brooch, I'm using a rubber stamp with my initial on it. And I'm stamping that on an ordinary piece of computer printer paper. Then I'm drawing round the spectacle lens that I've taken out of the spectacles to give my outline. And I'm redrawing the rubber stamp because I didn't feel it came out dark enough. The next step is to divide my background into areas. If you want more information on the principles of doing Zen Tangles, please download my free book from my WordPress blog. But now that I've divided the background into areas, the concept is to fill each area with a pattern. I decided to do my brooch symmetrical, but you wouldn't have to do that. And the pattern I'm putting in here is just crisscross lines. Then I decided to do some more curves into these corner areas here. I've speeded my drawing up so that you don't have to watch all the details. And I'm filling in some darker areas into these curves, just colouring as I go. The thing about Zentangling is making it up as you go. Here I'm strengthening some of those lines and adding in some more curved areas. I felt that three would look better than two. Now this area I'm doing a fairly complex pattern and I haven't managed to zoom the camera in close enough for you to really see it. But you will find how to do this pattern in my free book. The concept of it is that you fill your area with dots, then you join the dots going from the right hand side of one dot to the left hand side of the dot below it, then the right hand side of that dot to the left hand side of the dot below it, curving your lines as you go, then joining the other way as well to give a grid. And I've duplicated that on the other side. I'm doing a sort of a lacy pattern here. And filling in the last part of the background of my brooch with this Catherine Wheel explosion design. Notice how I'm going over my, the edge of my pencil lines. I want to make sure that my pattern goes right to the edge of my spectacle lens. So I'm going over the edge because I will cut it off later. The next step is to colour the pattern in, although it would have looked really good in black and white. Then I take the spectacle lens and coat the inside of it with PVA or white craft glue and press the paper into the lens thoroughly. Now I'm going to paint around the outside of the lens with the craft glue and put this black wool into it. I could have used embroidery thread or any other sort of cord that I might like around the outside of the brooch. I'm putting it round several times, cut the excess off, and now I'm going to coat that wool in the white craft glue all around it. Make sure it's saturated in the glue. Now I've wiped the extra glue off the front of the lens and leave it to dry. When it's totally dry, cut the extra paper off. Now what I should have done as I discovered when I started to put the um, pin on the back of the brooch was I should have glued another piece of paper to the back of this brooch because it turned out that my paper was too thin. Or I could have used thicker paper to start with because as I glued this on the paper moved slightly and it was almost a tragedy. But not quite, thank goodness. And here's my beautiful brooch. The other brooch I made using this technique, I used the butterfly from a greeting card and zen tangled the background. 
I hope you enjoy making the brooches. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.